Hi, this is your September newsletter. Hope you all have had a great summer and looking forward to maybe a little cooler temperatures. We are going to start the newsletter with August stats. So everybody is asking about the status of the market. I would tell you it's kind of the same old, same old. A lot of things are down, except of course, interest rates are up. So let's take a look at the market and give you the information that we're all looking for. So there were 1,068 new listings last month, and that is down 30% from August of 22. Uh, so people are still buying because there's just not a lot of choices. So they're kind of buying what they have to, and the prices are staying up. The number of sales was 833, and that is down 27% from August 22. The median sales price is also down 0.12% to 480. Um, and then we're up to 2.7% months of inventory, and that's the same as August of 2022. Everything seems to be down except for, drum roll, of course, the interest rates. Interest rates are about 7.18% right now. That is up 1.63 percentage points from last year or 29% from this time last year. So inflation obviously is the big hot topic. Um, as we all know, inflation used to be at 9% and it's down to 3.2% now. So it seems to be the consensus among many that interest rates might have one more nudge up before the end of the year, but then rates will start coming down in 2024. While we are on the topic of interest rates, let's talk about adjustable rate mortgages. Stop cringing. Uh, the adjustables are really quite good these days because we know that interest rates are gonna come down in the next year. So I would highly suggest you look at one. They come in three year and five year flavors. Um, and if you buy now, you won't have as much competition um, as you will when the rates come down. So just an idea. So the hot topic last month in the real estate industry was that Monument was wanting Glen Eagle to annex, um, which was kind of shocking to read. And so they did have a meeting at the end of August and it was uh, concluded that the residents of Glen Eagle had to request it. And so sounds like it's been shut down for quite a while. On a more serious note, let's talk about flooding. So we have had an unprecedented amount of rain this summer in Colorado Springs. To give you an idea about the rainfall, in June we had 9.34 inches of rain, which is staggering. By the month of August, we were up to 20 inches. So here's what you need to know. You need to keep an eye on the window wells, obviously in the basement. Uh, the carpet to see if it's wet, and certainly the smells that come with uh, dampness. Um, if uh, you have any of that, you need to pull the carpet back immediately, dry it up to prevent mold, and then contact a professional. If you feel overwhelmed and you don't know what to do, you can certainly call me and I can recommend some vendors, or you can download our app at Springs Homes off the uh, App Store, and our vendors are listed there. So last but not least is the Parade of Homes. So the parade this year is from September 8th through the 24th. Homes are open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and the locations are closed on Monday and Tuesday. There are 35 homes, 20 locations, and 14 builders. So tickets are available online at springsparade.com. Uh, the featured communities are Wolf Ranch, Banning Lewis, Mayberry, and Winsome. When you do buy your tickets, you can pick up one of these books at either the HBA office or the first home you go to, and then you can plan your, um, your outing. So have fun, enjoy it. Hope you're enjoying this newsletter, and we will see you next month.